So guys, I had an idea and I'm going to paint that idea for y'all today. <laughs> What's up? This week's video is going to be me doing a new rendition of the girl with the pearl earring. I'm going to try my best to create a modern day version of that. So please enjoy this video and stay tuned until the end. Thank you. Alright. Hey guys, welcome to voiceover. I hope you all enjoy this painting. I'm just laying down some color on the background and just trying to fill in all of the colors that I'm going to know that I need, like the hair. Um, just basically filling it all in yellow and then going in with detailing later. So something that I had a bit of a problem with as I progressed on this painting was the fact that in the painting I really felt the need to put in a whole bunch of different shading and colorings and make her face pink and put a bit of a yellowy tint in there. One of the reference photos that I was using at the time when I was looking at this had a lot of yellows and it's just because it wasn't the right reference photo. It was the right picture but it wasn't the right uh, quality of the picture so make sure that your reference photos are the quality you want it to come out as and that it is the right one because you might have someone who edits a picture that you're going off of like 17 different ways and you want it to be a very specific way so even though this is a good way to paint someone and all of these layers and skin colors are important um, for the painting I'm trying to paint, I actually went back and looked at it and there's not a whole bunch of different varying skin tones in this painting specifically. The original Girl with the Pearl Earring painting is rather pale and doesn't have that many differing skin tones. Like there's not a lot of pinks and there's not a lot of yellows, it's very pale and one shade for the most part. Um, so far, I don't hate it. I'm, I like it, but I'm not thrilled with uh, certain parts of it, like the eyes and maybe the skin tone is a little bit too dark for the original. So a big portion of what I wanted to change was the eyes because the pupils are way too dilated and it just looks kind of creepy, not realistic at all. And also there's too many outlines and stuff I think. And so I'd like to take some of that away and get it looking more natural. So let's do and that. Back to the film, okay? So here we are coming back to the painting and just trying to fix all of the little tiny details. Right now I'm going in with this brown. Even though in the painting it is more of a yellowy color, I didn't actually realize this at the time. Um, just because I was going off of my memory at this point. So here we are going in and basically removing all of that color that I had put in earlier and just trying to really mute out a whole bunch of the colors and make it one more of a one shade peachy tone. Then we begin to work on the eyes and I, I mean I'm not gonna lie guys I was kind of nervous here when I was working on the eyes because they got looking rough really rough and kind of vampire-y for a good while and then I had totally regretted everything that I had done to fix them but in the end everything turns out and so 
basically it's just a testament to don't give up and just keep on working the painting. If you are not liking it, there's a good chance that if you just keep on working at it and working your painting that it will turn out good or you could ruin it. There's always that possibility but even if you do ruin it, you can always continue to work on it and make it better until it looks a-okay, guys. Take it easy now, get into Ruby. So guys, this is the finished version of the girl with the pearl earring. If you guys would like to see me try to do any more of like old art turned into modern art, please leave a comment below letting me know what you guys want to see. So in December I'll probably drop off of the YouTube thing for a while, but I will be also still posting on Instagram because I will be in Missouri working on some murals and coffee houses. So, um, if you would like to keep up to date with that, then just follow my Instagram, which I will leave below, and you can watch me paint on walls, and I will post updates probably every few days on there, or at least every, like, two days, so. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good week, and continue to have a good week, and I will talk to y'all next